Hi there, Odette Ramos here, your city councilwoman for the 14th district. Today we're at the intersection of Hillen and 33rd Street. There's a brand new traffic pattern here. DOT won a major grant from a group called NACTO to try to make this intersection and one near Druid Hill Park a lot safer for pedestrians and cyclists. There's still some work to be done with murals and things like that, but be patient, it will work out, um, and we're trying to make it safe for everybody to come to the lake. Last week, we got great news that the Pfizer vaccine, a version of it for our young kids, ages five to 11, is now available. The Baltimore City Health Department will be announcing today how they're going to distribute that, um, as well as our uh, other pharmacies. So be patient, the shot will be available for your child. I am so excited that my fourth grader can get vaccinated. We'll have all of this on social media and on our website as soon as we get word from the health department. This week's virtual town hall is a conversation with the Women and Minority Business Office as well as the Small Business Development Office. We're going to hear a lot more about how Baltimore is working hard to make sure that our minority businesses um, are really thriving. So please join us on November 10th at 8 p.m. on Facebook Live and Zoom. Until then, please don't hesitate to contact me should you have any questions or concerns. And please sign up for our email newsletter that comes out on Mondays. You can email me at odette.ramos at baltimorecity.gov. So until all of our kids get vaccinated, make sure you're wearing your mask.